Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, General Hospital. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. General Hospital's Jarly 2.0 Laura Wright opens up about a real Jason slash Carly love story. Now that General Hospital has returned Jason to the canvas and conveniently broken up Carly and Drew, it would seem that there is nothing standing in the long-ago lover's way. Well, almost nothing. If Sunny is around, Jason and Carly aren't going to be to together. I don't think, Laura Wright tells Soap Opera Digest. I don't think Jason trusts Carly if Sunny is an option. Jason finally fills Anna in on exactly what's been going on with John, and Alva and Sunny share an extremely close moment. I feel like if they are together, they have to be all in and like ride into the sunset together, she continues. I don't feel like they can live in the same town with Sunny and Function. They just have to be alone. It isn't like Carly to be afraid of anything, but her feelings for Jason are the exception to the rule. Their love for one another is so deep and so protective. She's terrified of it, Wright admits. What's more, I feel really strongly that the two years he's been gone, those years terrify her because they're years that were without her. Carly isn't sure that she wants to find out what went on in those two years either. So far, she's not asking because it's like, I don't know if I want to know. The Emmy winner concurs. I don't want to know that you might have loved someone. I don't want to know you had experiences I was unaware of. You weren't kidnapped or someone kept you away from me. You made a choice. I think that's interesting. So do we. Review the below photo gallery to catch up on Carly's entire life story, from her and Jason's hookups ages ago to today. General Hospital Preview Jason's friends and family are forced to take sides. In General Hospital's preview for the week of March 25-29, to everyone wants answers from Jason. Read on for the scoop and watch the teaser video. Jason finally fills Anna in on exactly what's been going on with John and Alva and Sunny share an extremely close moment. Last week the walls were closing in on Jason. Willow's helping him with his wound involved stealing antibiotics from the hospital, which were noticed and could have cost Liz her job. Fortunately, Michael had Spinelli hack into GA's computer system and fix the issues to make it seem like it was a simple reporting error. With Spinelli pulled into helping Jason, on top of Willow and Michael, and along with Danny being questioned by Kate's about his father, Jason realized too many people could end up in trouble because of him. So what did he do? With his lawyer Diane by his side, he willingly turned himself into the PCPD. However, he told Diane that he wouldn't be in custody for very long. This week, Joss tells Michael that it's all over the media that Jason is a suspect. At the PCPD, Anna asks Jason if he shot Dante. Sam visits Jason and asks the same thing. Almost all of Port Charles gathers at Jason's arraignment. As Liz says, people are going to have to choose sides. The promo ends with Carly yelling at Sonny, You owe Jason. He responds, I don't owe Jason nothing. Tune in this week, as we will finally get more answers as to what's been going on with Jason. Read the General Hospital spoilers to find out what's going on with Gregory's health. Before you go, Read all about Jason's storied history in the below photo gallery of his life. Lives. Story. General Hospital's Eden McCoy defends Jocelyn's heartbreaking move. I found it a little boring toward the end. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. General Hospital viewers who had been miffed when Jocelyn cheated on boyfriend Cameron with Dex had to have done a happy dance when he broke up with her lover boy. But the funny thing is, Eden McCoy hadn't even realized that Joss and Cam had shippers. Jason finally fills Anna in on exactly what's been going on with John, and Alva and Sunny share an extremely close moment. Until that happened, I felt like people were bored with Joss and Cameron as a couple and they didn't really have a passionate fan base, she admits to Soap Opera Digest, and personally William Lipton, and I found it a little boring to maybe end. what we all want in real life, but on screen, it's akin to the kiss of death. 
We were together for a million years in soap opera terms, as I call it, says the Emmy winner, adding, and nothing was really happening in our storyline. Breaking up is hard to do, but fun to play. Plus, even members of the audience who were upset about Joss two-timing her boyfriend had to have been thrilled with the fireworks that followed. McCoy and Lipton certainly were. I loved working with Will on the breakup stuff. We had a blast together, McCoy recalls. It was so bittersweet and emotional for both of us. Cameron for sure deserved better. I hope he finds love and happiness and not a cheating girlfriend. Check out the below photo gallery for the latest updates on all the couples on General Hospital. Things are changing fast now that the new head writers have stepped in. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.